All right, folks, day 30. Long day yesterday. I'm going to call it uh, early night tonight. It's uh, 6. Uh, got done at work 3, 3, maybe 2. So I got about 4 hours on the truck. Uh, got a box in and um, went ahead and knocked out all the things I said I was going to do last night, I believe. So let me just turn it around. We're going to wrap this one up sort of quick. Because I'm beat from yesterday and I need a break. So, okay. So, passenger seat's back. I had to move it after the way yesterday. They're just laying in there for right now. Um, let's see. Nothing really in the, in the cockpit. Uh, I did put the light, headlight switch in. Just hang in because, uh, Big news, uh, big news, but it's definitely starting to look like a truck, right? So I got headlights and I've mounted those temporarily. Uh, I've got the uh, yellow turn signals uh, operating. And then we've got, I'm gonna move from the front to the back today. We've got the mass air tube arrangement all set up. Uh, I think that's gonna work pretty good. Uh, guys still gotta get a couple more hose clamps and everything Of course the v-band clamps I had won't won't work. So we're going with uh, hose clamps and just gonna put the uh, The worm gear on the bottom so you really have to challenge yourself to see it uh, I did get a couple pieces of tubing for the radiator uh, missing a couple more pieces so those will show up Friday so that's on the list for early this uh, Saturday, uh, or depending on when they show up on Friday. Uh, I think that's about it. I think I did bleed the, re-bleed the right front caliper. Um, yeah, so it was leaking a little bit and I just double checked it. And then I just, you can see from afar, you know, it, it, it looks good, that camber camera on there's a little aggressive at one it's got a little hot rod like come get you that's good happy about that and then let's see in the back everything's torqued now went and torqued all the jam nuts they're all done i double checked the tail lights uh they're i've mounted them uh just so i could get them to work and i'm using uh, area on the frame that won't get used uh, but right here temporarily and you won't see that after you know the um, the beds on so I didn't see the the harm and just go ahead and mounting them so I mean the wiring is going to be about where it is and then we'll just clean that up and again I just temporarily hook these together just just the ground just to make sure lights worked make sure the I did it column didn't have an issue uh, which it doesn't. Uh, that I think that's the very first one that that went in uh, uh, right right away without issues. So um, I get my multimeter laying here in the harness. That's nice. Um, yeah, all in all, uh, still still trucking. We're gonna start tomorrow. Probably get the get the seats in. Uh, get them on rails or the driver's side on rails will permanently mount the passenger side and uh, yeah it's just and then we're waiting on uh, radiator items so that we can get the the fluid into the truck and so we can run it for more than two minutes and then just tidy up all the, the wiring going through uh, the uh, intake, underneath the intake. I'm w oh, and I'm waiting on some valve covers. So once those show up, we'll put those on, see, we'll see which ones we like better. Um, and then I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna cut down the these brake pads um, so that really big people with big feet can get in there and I'll just, you know, even when I, on mine, I, we cut the, make them three holes instead of 
or two holes, cut that third line, that third hole out, um, makes makes them a little bit uh, easier to use. Um, I think that's it. So, like I said, you know, really quick one today. Just like I said, I'm a little run down. Feel like uh, just kind of dragging, uh, but man, it's the it's the last little bit, right? So all that planning and everything kind of starting to pay off a little bit. We're just working on small stuff. Uh, the paint looks good. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, share that in the video. Uh, it's in primer and it's in guide coat. So look, I think we're close. I think the painter, I finally passed where the painter, I thought the painter was going to be already in color by now and he'd be waiting on me. So I guess I'll be waiting on him. So I will probably move the truck uh, to his location, kind of move him along. Um, maybe, depending if I get the go-kart in uh, this weekend, uh, it may be next Wednesday probably, or the following weekend we'll, we'll go ahead and move over there because I'm going to get the interior in and everything um, uh, by Sunday. For sure. So I get we have some glue, and I've got my premium carpet, and I'll be uh, cutting carpet probably Saturday morning. So anyway, uh, I got to remount the horns, uh, but I need to wait to get the loader radiator hose done. So waiting on the the radiator stuff. That that's really the the big big stuff. Everything else seems like it's working. I got to. Get the uh, the high bright switch, high beam switch uh, located and attached and checked, but uh, and I need to make sure all the uh, parking lights work. Uh, but other than that, the hard part's done on the wiring. Everything works. Uh, I do need to double check the fan to make sure I can control that. I've got my doubts on all the issues I'm having with this. Uh, power distribution box from uh, uh, from Ford uh, I've already bypassed two of the circuits just to get the truck to run so be interesting to see if the fan circuit actually works anyway uh, just moving on you know not letting that slow me down and uh, I've been just cleaning the frame and getting all the dust off of it most of the rest of it today so we'll get back to you tomorrow see ya